So I have the fins on. The bottom three fins are exactly the way that the original design calls for. They just, they stick straight out and they're offset by a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. I decided to take the other three fins and mount them just forward of this, see right here. And it gives a really interesting look. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, this should fly, it should be no problem uh, with stability because it's it got such a long, large body. So this should be no problem at all. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the launch lugs on. And again, I usually put uh, two launch lugs on all the time and I bevel them. And I do have this line on here, which goes all the way down one end to the other, which allowed me to line them both up. So that's why I put that line on there as part of the actual fin guide plan. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and put the launch lugs on. So I put the launch lugs on and I use two launch lugs. Again, I use two launch lugs in almost every rocket. Now, one launch lug is right down here. It's nestled in between the two fins. And I lined up the end of the launch lug with the bottom of the fin. And I just thought it looked good that way, no particular reason. And the other one, about maybe three quarters of an inch from the top. And these were the two separate launch lugs that came with it. I just put each one on separately. And I use the E6000 glue, which is what I typically use for launch lugs. And again, it's uh, got the consistency of a, of a gel toothpaste. Just put a bead on the tube, uh, stick the launch lug on, line it up. You got several minutes to line it up and to play with it so that it looks good. And it's real easy to use, doesn't run or drip. So, okay, you see the rocket now is almost done. I'm gonna let this dry for about a half hour. The last thing to work on is to finish up with the engine clip. For that, I need to use a little drop of epoxy to hold the engine clip on because that's gonna require a lot of a lot of strength. So let me go ahead and let this dry for about an hour and I'll go back and take care of the uh, engine clip. So the final step now is to put the engine clip on so the engine clip has a slot that I put on here before. So I have to take this engine clip and put it in here. Um, and then what I need to do is I need to add some epoxy onto this. Epoxy is probably the most important to use because it's an incredibly strong. And if I let this harden for like a day or so, let it uh, really cure, it'll be incredibly strong. And I've, I've done this before. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this engine clip onto here, then mix up some epoxy and run it on top of the clip. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the engine clip in there and I've put the engine in with the clip. Uh, its only purpose is to hold the clip in place. So some tape, put the engine in. Again, it's just a used engine. And then the engine clip will be held in place while the glue dries. So let me go ahead and get the epoxy and I'm going to put some um, uh, right on top of this to keep it in place. 